Transformers are classified into hermetic and non-hermetic by method of protecting the insulating oil from environmental influences. In non-hermetic transformers, breathing is ensured through a device that is being filled with silica gel. Low vacuum units are sufficient for drying and degassing of oils in such transformers. Hermetic transformers with corrugated tanks require more powerful machines that ensure not only deep oil degassing, but also filling the transformer with oil under high vacuum. This kind of filling prevents premature oxidation of oil and decreases in dielectric strength of insulation. Right now, we are going to focus on one of these machines, this is CMM 6 sevenths. Its main difference from low vacuum machines consists in the presence of a two-stage vacuum system which includes backing and booster pumps that create a high vacuum. The unit is multifunctional and operates in several modes. The main modes include degassing, drying, and filtration of transformer oil. In this mode, the oil is fed by means of an input pump, through a 200 micron mesh filter into a tape heater that increases the oil temperature up to 50-55 degrees. The tape heater has a low heat capacity and a low surface heating power. For this reason, oil overheating is avoided in the event of emergency shutdowns. Next, the oil goes through the first fine filter with the filtration fineness of 5 microns and is fed into the vacuum chamber. Due to the vacuum system operation, a pressure of not more than 2.5 millibar is maintained inside the vacuum chamber. The oil enters the activator filters and flows from the inside thereof to outside in a thin film from the surface of which water and gases are intensively released when driven by vacuum. After the vacuum chamber, the oil is additionally filtered while going through another fine filter with a filtration fineness of 1 micron and then flows to the outlet. The presence of three-stage filtration in the unit ensures a high efficiency of mechanical impurities removal from oil and extends the operation life of filter elements. Some components of the unit can be used offline and operate in other modes for implementation of process steps in maintenance of transformers. A tape heater is engaged when flushing the transformers with hot insulating oil, and a vacuum system operates during transformer vacuumizing. In degassing, drying, and filtration modes, the capacity of the unit is 6 cubic meters per hour. After comprehensive purification, the breakdown voltage of insulating oil is not less than 70 kilovolts, the gas content by volume, not more than 0.1%, and the moisture content by weight, not more than 10 grams per ton. In heating and filtration mode, the unit operates with the maximum capacity of 7 cubic meters per hour. Certainly, a more complex design requires additional sensors. Operating the CMM 6 sevenths unit. You can be sure that it is secured against abnormal situations. A float sensor is built in the spill tray of the unit to detect oil leaks. A foam sensor is installed in the vacuum chamber and prevents foam from entering the vacuum system. And a flow switch helps in stopping the oil pumps when there is no oil flow detected. With regard to design and automation degree, here you have a choice. We can place the unit into the container and mount it on the trailer. We can optionally make it automatic or semi-automatic with adjustment of capacity by means of valves. When using the automatically controlled unit, you get an additional bonus. By means of this unit, you can purify the oil in the operating transformer. In order to do this, it is enough to connect the unit to the transformer via the TSS safety system. Live line processing of oil is justified when more transformers need to be serviced within the same amount of time, or it is impossible to apply a reserve while turning off the transformer is not allowed. What do you think of this type of machines? Please leave your comments. Full specifications of the CMM 6 7 unit can be found at www.globecore.com.